While more than 100 languages and dialects are spoken right here in Chicago, city remains a gateway to immigrants and transplants from other parts of the country. In tonight's Destination Illinois, we embark on an educational journey to better understand the history of Chicago's neighborhoods. Welcome to Chinatown, the bustling near Southside home to more than 35,000 Chinese Americans, including Bridgeport and other neighborhoods on the south branch of the Chicago River. Dragon Bolt races to support social services, part of the culture for this hard-working community. Stroll down Wentworth Avenue to see a Chinatown icon, the towering Putok Center. For nearly a century now, providing adult education, support services, and cultural events for Chinese immigrants. Love of family through the decades, the neighborhood's motivating force. Family is very important to Chinese Americans. Often, multiple generations live together. You'll see folks in beautiful outdoor spaces, socially distanced, enjoying Chinatown's marvelous restaurant scene. There's the Chinese Christian Union Church, a longtime community anchor. You'll find shops and art galleries, people's creativity and resourcefulness a beacon to others. But those who know the history say it's been a difficult road. A lot of people don't know that this is actually the second Chinatown in Chicago. Uh, the original folks started uh, living and working near downtown, right between Adams and Van Buren. In the shadow of the Willis Tower, the pagoda on this restaurant signed the last visible remnant of Chicago's first Chinatown more than a hundred years ago. High rents and virulent racism making the newcomers feel unwelcome and sadly driving the Chinese out, the community resettling where it is today. Learn about the unimaginable hardships and the triumphs over poverty and discrimination. The Chinese American Museum on 23rd Street, preserving the history for new generations. Steering our way south, experience another gateway community, historic Pilsen. 150 years ago, refuge to immigrants from what is now Western Czechoslovakia. Today, iconic 18th Street, home to Mexican-American families, the National Museum of Mexican Art, and a vibrant restaurant scene serving up authentic Mexican dishes. Martin Luther King Drive in historic Bronzeville, this thriving Southside community in the last century, attracting giants from the music world, Louis Armstrong, Pulitzer Prize winning poet Gwendolyn Brooks and other black luminaries. In non-COVID summers, the community hosting the largest African-American parade in the United States. The back-to-school Bud Billiken Parade attracting a million people to Bronzeville and Washington Park, where you'll find the DuSable Museum of African-American History. Learn about a legendary group of World War I soldiers, the fearless 370th U.S. Infantry Regiment. An all-black regiment, the 370th, and were some of the most decorated soldiers in all of World War I throughout the U.S. Uh, Army. The soldiers immortalized by this Chicago landmark, the majestic Victory Monument at 35th and King Drive the 370th, also known as the Fighting 8th Regiment of the Illinois National Guard, winning admiration for their bravery. The courage of these remarkable soldiers, commanded by black officers, contributing to Allied victory. The DuSable temporarily closed due to the pandemic, housing this extraordinary exhibit. The flags are the actual flags carried by our troops in France in 1918. The heroic soldiers returning home to loved ones only to confront hatred and violence with the race riots of 1919, the bloodshed erupting on a segregated Chicago beach. Those events started as a result of a young black boy named Eugene Williams being 
stoned and drowned in Lake Michigan because he accidentally drifted into the white part of the water. The haunting images of gangs chasing African Americans with bricks in their hand, deeply disturbing. The riot claiming 38 lives, injuring 500 more, with a thousand black families left homeless, the mobs looting and vandalizing the abandoned properties. Members of the Fighting Eighth race to their armory at 35th and Giles, now the Chicago Military Academy at Bronzeville. They took the weapons and they came out to help defend the community and try to quell the violence. Learn more at the Chicago History Museum's exhibit on the race riots and so much more. The tragedies of the past illuminating the future as you gain a better understanding on our Chicago Neighborhood History Tour. Julian Cruz, WGN News.